So the day has finally come. We got a look at every single weapon in Fallout 76. So this is going to be a complete list of all of the new weapons. If you just want to see everything that is coming in, including returned things, I will have a list of those down below, but I was filming this video originally including everything and it just got to be way too long and repetitive. There's a lot of new content here and also a lot of returning content. So I figured to just keep you guys interested, I'll focus on what's new and interesting. More or less the way I got this information is by some of the files that were added to our PCs following the release of Fallout 76's beta on PC. And full disclaimer, we don't actually know, one, if all of these items will actually make it into the game, I'm including everything that we presently have textures for. They might just be textures in the game that were carried over from a past one, or this could even be future DLC that's in the game but we don't have access to. Unfortunately, there's no program to actually apply the textures to various models. So what I could show you is something like this for the things we haven't seen in game or don't have gameplay footage of, but I can't conform it to the model that is available. So when there is gameplay footage of the particular weapon, I will show that to you. And otherwise, if you guys do want to follow me on Twitter, I will have that link down below. We're almost back to the point where I was before I got my old account age locked by Twitter, very tragically. And just something else before we get into this, some of the old and returning weapons, like for example, the 10 millimeter pistol actually have some updates to their textures. And I even think to the sounds, again, I'm not going to go over those because it'd get really redundant, but some of the returning stuff actually is different. Just keep that in mind as you're playing the game. So one of the first new things is the 10 millimeter SMG. We actually saw this in the trailers. It wasn't entirely clear clear as to what it was, but in my gameplay session yesterday, I got my hands on this thing and it is a lot of fun to use. But one that a lot of people probably didn't know was making a return is the auto grenade launcher. I searched through and I couldn't find any instances of people actually getting this in game. Naturally, it's probably going to be a higher level item, but what I'm going to assume is this is going to be pretty similar to the grenade machine gun from Fallout New Vegas. It kind of does exactly what you think. It just fires grenades very rapidly with a big drum magazine on it. And newly brought to the table with Fallout 76 are 40mm grenades, so I have to assume this will correspond to that also. Binoculars are another new and fresh weapon that a lot of us have probably used. I've yet to find a practical use for them, but hey, maybe you're enjoying your time with them. Then we do have the black powder pistol and also the black powder rifle. This is something we knew about from the Noclip documentary, and we actually saw it in one of the most viewed gameplay trailers for Fallout 76. This is another one I actually got in game yesterday. It only requires you to be level 10, and it does a ridiculous amount of damage at 115 damage per shot. It is probably one of the most powerful low level weapons. Obviously it does have a ridiculously long reload cycle and the ammo can be kind of pricey to craft, but most of the enemies I fought with this thing, including other players, I did manage to take down in just one shot. The black powder rifle we've yet to see any footage of, but based off the textures and more or less what we know of it, it'll probably be pretty similar to what you can imagine and probably what you've seen in various pirate movies or video games. So even though bones have been a crafting item since Fallout 4, in Fallout 76 they're taking it to the next level with the bone club. So I definitely haven't seen this in game, I don't actually know how you get it, but I want this thing. After finding it out, it seems like based on the textures, it's literally just a bone that's a melee weapon. I know some people are talking about starting various cults, and this seems like something that would be very appropriate for that. We also do have the Bowie knife. This is another one that I did find in my gameplay. It more or less, in reality, is a cooler and better version of the combat knife. It's a ton of fun to use, it's going to be a very fast melee weapon. Fallout 76 is going to feature a chainsaw that looks awesome. Based off of the textures, it looks like it's going to be bright red and made by Romington. A while ago, there was a chainsaw that popped up in the Creation Club files for Fallout 4. It was apparently from Doom. I'm not sure if this is actually going to be related to that, but for whatever reason, it never came out for Fallout 4. And if they had the files anyway, maybe they just got repurposed for Fallout 76. Either way, I wouldn't be shocked if once we actually find this in game, it ends up looking very much so like this. The Chinese assault rifle from Fallout 3 that we all knew and love is making a return with some changes. If you look at the hand grip textures on this one, it's definitely a different color than what we had in Fallout 3, where the Fallout 3 one almost looked a little bit more kind of winter themed. This one seems like it's just some actual wood. But either way, Fallout 4 really lacks some good like traditional styled assault rifles and it seems like at least somewhat they're remedying that with Fallout 76. So in the past we've actually seen the crossbow in some of the gameplay and yes that's going to still be in the game but also we're getting a compound bow seemingly at least slightly different than the crossbow but 
also in this new weapon category known as exotic weapons. We saw a perk card that actually unlocks all the crafting options for these new exotic weapons and included in that is seemingly the crossbow but also this compound bow. It looks like it's going to look pretty modern and standard being mostly matte black or gray textures and it's kind of surprising we haven't seen this in game yet. I would almost assume a compound bow would be a fairly early level item rather than like a gun. Perhaps people have found it and just haven't been posting images but I definitely haven't heard or seen anything on the compound bow or even anyone actually finding a crossbow. Something interesting from Fallout 4 that I do want to highlight, the covert sidearm and actually the cryolator are both making a return or their textures are. Of course, these were two unique weapons in the sense that you can only get one of them in Fallout 4. For Fallout 76, it seems like the Deliverer was actually renamed to the covert sidearm now and the cryo later being renamed to the cryo gun. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these kind of lose their unique status considering this is a multiplayer game and likely there'll have to be several of these in any world at a given time. But even beyond that, I would assume the covert gun is actually going to be among some of the major enclave locations. We have a cultist blade and a cultist dagger. This is probably going to correspond to this Mothman cult that we have seen some of. If you actually go under the Mothman museum, you could find a bunch of various cult related items there. It seems like there's definitely some worshiping going on and I imagine there's a lot more to uncover around this new I guess faction. Based off the textures we see thus far it actually looks like they are going to look distinctively different not just one's going to be a shorter variant of the other but have kind of a similar vibe going on with them. Something in this game we're seeing is a bunch of various instrument based weapons one of them being the death tambo. In real life this is like a set of drums based on the texture it's well very hard to make out what it's actually going to look like. They're actually labeled as an unarmed item similar to like a boxing glove so how it will work work is melee in nature. The drill is something we've seen several times and it's actually a surprisingly high level item. The fire axe is another new melee item that we've seen several times and actually some of the modifications for. It looks pretty cool and it obviously is going to be part of one of the new factions in this game. Going along with the theme of some of these other old school weapons, we also do have the Gatling gun. It's one we've seen before and that I've showed you in past videos. Outside of that though, we also do have a Gatling plasma. This is something we saw in the trailers, but it wasn't until recently that we were actually able to identify this. It'll probably work very similar to a lot of the other plasma weapons that just will be a Gatling version, likely very similar to how the Gatling laser works. A new golf club was added in some of the past shared images by Bethesda. We got a look at the guitar sword and a hatchet. All these I think are kind of mundane. They're just new melee weapons. They all act fairly similarly, the guitar sword being by far the most unique. So it seems like Fallout 76's laser rifle might actually have some kind of distinctively new variant. We saw this was actually a lot of mods where you'd get like an institute variant of a laser weapon, but in Fallout 76, there's this new ore known as Ultracite. It's very possible I'm pronouncing that wrong, but either way, in the texture files, you could actually find a bunch of Ultracite attachments for the laser rifle. There's not many details about this ore thus far, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is a fairly rare ore. These are fairly hard to craft, and thus in game, they do have certain stat bonuses. The M2 Browning we saw front and center in a lot of different trailers. It looks pretty cool. We've seen it tease in a lot of other pictures, but we also do have a more just 50 cal machine gun. In real life, a lot of times, the M2 Browning was referred to as the 50 caliber machine gun. But in beyond that, we actually have a third option here, that with the MG42, another one that we saw a ton of in the trailers. They really like showing off all these new MGs. And something pretty interesting here, the M2 Browning is actually considered a rifle, while the 50 caliber machine gun and the MG42 are actually considered heavy weapons. That of course affecting some of the various perk cards that will be relevant, but in beyond that, it makes me question if there will be pretty noticeable stat bonuses between some of these. The M79 is another one that I actually managed to get my hands on in game. Of course, I wasn't high enough level to actually use it, but hey, it definitely looks cool. Grenade launchers seem to be making a pretty heavy return in Fault 76 with at least two options on release. The mole people are gonna use this new thing called a mining claw. Oftentimes you'll actually find it on their bodies. I never was able to pick one up, although fortunately somebody did post an image of one of these online. Looks pretty cool and it seems like it's gonna be another one of those like pseudo unarmed weapons that you can use. The pickaxe is another new and exciting item in this game. A lot of people are speculating you actually need this to mine various resources. That's actually not true, and you also don't need it to uncover buried treasure. You just literally walk up to either of those things and click the E key. Pitchforks are new, another one we saw from some of the earlier trailers or gameplay, and the flaming pitchfork is an extremely fun and satisfying weapon. The plasma line of weapons is making a return, but based off some of the files, we do know there are actually going to be enclave variants of these. 
Similar to how I was mentioning with the Ultra Sight variant of that weapon previously, based on the file listings of these, it doesn't seem like it's going to just be a skin, but there's actually going to be fundamental differences with the Enclave variant of plasma items. The Pump Shotgun is probably almost everybody's favorite early game weapon. It's by far one of the ones I've been using the most, and it's a ton of fun. The animations are good, they finally fixed the reload, so after firing once, you just have to reload once. You know how each Fallout game has like that one gun you kind of associate with it? I think for me, the pump shotgun might actually be that one for Fallout 76. This sickle is another one of those melee weapons you've probably seen on various Scorch chasing after you. Looks pretty cool, it gives the communists some presence in Fallout 76. But even cooler is the new Ski Sword, another one we've had teased in the past. I actually found this also in my gameplay yesterday, again, one I couldn't use. But it more or less is a ski turned into a sword, and that's just cool. Spears are in this game. Based on the file, it seems like it's going to be a fairly simple weapon, so just like a traditional spear. This is one of those items that was actually in a lot of the early Fallout games, but didn't really get continued over with some of the newer Bethesda ones. Fallout 4 taking place in the Commonwealth, you would assume that's where the Revolutionary Sword makes an appearance, but no, it actually is in Fallout 76. There's a lot of Civil War stuff going on in some of the areas of this game. I did an event doing some of these, and it's quite a bit of fun, but might end up costing you a lot of ammo. Throwing knives and tomahawks are two things I got access to, and they are super good. Throwing knives in particular, you can craft them for relatively low amounts of steel, and I personally had an abundance of steel, and they do a lot of damage against various enemies as long as you're accurate with them. I don't know what it is about these, but taking people down with them or landing the last hit with like a throwing knife just is super satisfying. Many times, if you actually miss the enemy, you could also pick these two things back up after the fact. I also found a walking cane, which is surprisingly high level. I think a walking cane would be pretty easy to pick up and use. But either way, far more interesting are the war drums. Compared to the death tambu from earlier, these ones are actually a one-handed melee weapon. And then finally, we do have the wood cutting axe. This is one I used a lot of through my playthrough, and it was another one that was a super valuable and viable early game item. Again, to be clear, there's a lot more weapons and items in this game. I just skipped over them if they appeared in Fallout 4. If you're seeking a proper and comprehensive list, I will have one linked down below in the description. But yeah, those are all the various items and weapons you can expect to find in Fallout 76. Again, total disclaimer, some of these may not presently appear in the game. I'm just going based off of what we have files for. Just because we have files for it doesn't mean it's actually implemented yet. That pretty much wraps it up for this one. In the coming days, I'm going to have a few other data mined based videos videos, one on the Atom Shop and a lot of the items coming with that, and even on some of the cool mutations coming with Fallout 76. As always, again, I thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.